Local business owners hit hard by Ian and Nicole are also hoping launch day crowds will boost business at their restaurants, hotels and shops. News 6's Jim Sparvero spoke with some of those owners in Titusville. All hands on deck. At Pier 220 under the Max Brewer Bridge, General Manager Samantha Ablin says even though Wednesday's Artemis One launch attempt is at 104 in the morning, the restaurant with a direct view of Kennedy Space Center and launch pad 39B expects to stay open late. We're just going to play it by ear. You know, if the business is here, we'll stay. If it's not, then we'll close up. Well, what's your gut telling you? I think that we'll probably end up being here for it. Plus, we'll already have the great view for the launch. Over the last two years, Ablin says high-profile launches like astronaut missions have meant big business. And the restaurant is already seeing Artemis tourists from out of town. This is my wheelhouse. This is great stuff. Retired Boeing employee Mike Coggins traveled from St. Louis to watch the latest attempt. Boeing built the Space Launch System's core stage, and despite setbacks this year, Coggins says he's confident Artemis 1 will still succeed. Disappointed SLS hasn't taken off so far? Not at all. Hey, they can't afford to fail, so let them get it right. That's fine. Pier 220 says Nicole was not as bad for the restaurant as Hurricane Ian was, Seven weeks ago, the restaurant says it lost power after Ian sent boats on the Indian River crashing into power lines. Nicole's impact on Titusville seen at the Canaveral National Seashore, where erosion is closing some beach accesses. Given the overnight window, the Space Coast Office of Tourism says crowd sizes for this launch attempt might be smaller than the previous ones. An estimated 50 to 100,000 people are expected to watch this time. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.